Punto and that's why I think aliens are just humans with extra limbs and oh, antennas. Please. You and your simplistic view of the universe. Aliens are far more advanced and evolved than humans could ever be. Alright, everyone, get ready. We are about to take off in 3, 2, 1. Create a variation of going live. Good morning, universe. Welcome to another exciting episode of Earth, broadcasting from our trusty spaceship in geostationary orbits around Earth. I am Charlie, your libertarian host with a hopeful outlook on life. And I'm Alice, the voice of reason amid the cosmic chaos. Io sono Bob, il conservatore, u, uh, conservative panel member was, to elev anni, on Earth as an, accountant. U, uh, yes. Bob, your Italian is showing. And joining us today are our favorite intergalactic misfits. Jet, the eccentric translator from the Galaton Commonwealth. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, hello. Dot and Han, the curious observer from beyond the stars. Greetings, fellow cosmic travelers. Now that our space-faring family is all here, let's dive into today's topic, shall we? But first, a quick shout out to our resident mechanical philosophers. Carl and Roger, who are somewhere contemplating the existential crisis of toasters. The pursuit of meaning in a world of buttons and levers. The futility of pondering when we could be rusting. Can we please get back to the real issue? Today's topic is the impact of potato farming on our system. Oh, climate. fantastic. I was hoping we'd talk about something that really gets my engine running. Well, Bob, potatoes might not be as exciting as interstellar wars, but they are a vital part of human history it's and agriculture. It's relevant when considering the grand cosmic chain. That's where you and I differ, Alice. The interconnectedness of all things, no matter how seemingly mundane, is what gives life its depth and meaning. Oh, please Charlie. Don't go all philosophical on. And that's up you, Charlie. Stay tuned for headlines, everyone. Thanks, Debbie. Don't go anywhere, folks. We've got plenty more cosmic banter coming up. Until then, remember, the universe is vast, and so are the possibilities. Stay tuned for our headlines. In Tonga, kids learn to play Sudoku. In the mod, Tonga, a paradise known for its stunning landscapes, white sandy beaches, and narrow, apparently, pigs with a penchant for puzzle. These smart swine have taken up Sudoku, and their medium of choice? Mud. Move over. Mensa. We've got a new genius species in town. And they're not afraid to get a little dirty to prove it. Did you know? Tonga is the only Pacific nation that has never been colonized by foreign powers. They've been maintaining their independence since ancient times. Well, I guess their pigs are following the trend, mastering Sudoku without outside interference. Lengua, Indian work recount drama, democracy scale stills in Trinidad and Tobago. In the Caribbean nation of Trinidad and Tobago, the local government elections have seen a nail-biting recount in the Lengua, Indian work district. The Unks victorians in the balance, causing more suspense than a season finale. Trinidad and Tobago is home to the world famous carnival, a vibrant celebration of music, dance, and masquerades that attract revelers from around the globe. Looks like even their elections are catching that carnival spirit, every voice oh a dance move. Because nothing says democracy like a congaline of Rikun drama. Tunisian drama. tennis titan triumph in Cincinnati tournament. A Tunisian tennis player. Assassin a day her way into the quarterfinals of the Cincinnati tournament. She defeated her open Croatian Dona Vekic, who retired in the first set, probably due to the sheer force of Jabber's skills. Looks like Vekic didn't stand a chance against Jabber's baton, or her ability to summon any retirements. Yeah, I guess Vekic didn't want to stick around and watch Jabber's backhand dance all over her. Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. And seen footage unerted. In Turkey, a treasure trove of previously unseen footage and historical recordings of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. The founder of modern Turkey has been added to a web archive called Film Mirasim, 
10 Digital Voice à Celebration of His Legacy and His Influence on the Nation's History. Atatrout's legacy is anything but old news now, even his outtakes are making history. Good evening, Spesferas, and welcome to 24 7 Newsroom, your source for cosmic headlines and out of this world banter. I am Charlie, your libertarian host with a hopeful outlook on life. And I'm Hank. Your friendly intergalactic observer, always eager to explore the... And I'm Gert, your zany translator from the Galactan Commonwealth here to mix up idioms Pacific and bring you the Explorer unexpected... Pacific Explorer returns to Nukualofa and brings back more than just seashells. The picturesque paradise known for its stunning landscapes has just welcomed back the Pacific Explorer. But it seems the voyage brought back more than just seashells and sunburns. Looks like someone's been enjoying the lookout cuisine uh, a bit too much. But can you blame them? I heard Tonga's coconuts have the power to teleport you straight to the nearest hammock. Did you know? Tonga is the only remaining monarchy in the Pacific and is known as friendly, friendly indeed. Island. Except for those pesky coconuts, they are just nuts. Oh, you always crack me up, Charlie. Glad to be of service, Jed. And now, let's dive into the headlines that are airs these are airs they are fascinating. Space enthusiast, because 247 Newsroom is about to take you on a cosmic ride through the latest happenings from across the universe. Welcome back to 24-7 Newsroom. I'm Charlie, here with Hank, Jet, and our beloved Debbie. Now, let's dive into the next cosmic headline. That's right, Charlie. Get ready to blast off into the latest news from... And I'm here to make sure everyone gets the joke, even if it's from a planet with three moons and two suns. On Jabo dominates tennis courts. Whether not so much. Well, Gert, it seems like one's Jabur is having quite the party on the tennis courts, while the weather is just having a bad day. Hank, 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 Hank. Allow me to enlighten you once again. Ons Schaeber, a skilled Tunisian tennis player, secured her spot in the quarterfinals of the Cincinnati tournament. Match, but Jabe still managed to win despite the challenges. Uh, sorry about that. My brain must have taken a detour to the Andromeda system. So, tennis and weather? Huh. Yeah, tennis and weather. Two things that are always a pain in face. Indeed, Han. It's a testament to human determination that Jabo prevailed despite the meteorological obstacles. And it's a reminder that Earth's athletes have to face not only opponents on the court, but also the unpredictable whims of nature. And it's a prime example of how perseverance and skill can overcome even the most unexpected. So when life serves you a curveball, or in this case, a rainstorm, swing away Or like just grab champion. an umbrella and pretend it's a shield against I love that visual, Charlie! Defeating opponents and raindrops and on a single note, swing. And we'll swing into a quick commercial break. Stick around, folks. We've got more to unravel when we return. Welcome back to 24-7 Newsroom, the cosmic hub of insights and laughter. I am Charlie, here with Hank, Jet, and of course, the indomitable Debbie. Now, let's delve into the heart of our next headline. That's right, Charlie. Prepare for a roller coaster of opinions and intergalactic debate. And I'm here to ensure everyone gets the scoop, even if they're from a planet where they communicate On next images moves. of Atatop lights of Tokyo's history. Ah, yes, Charlie. The elusive Ataturk, his images unearthed and shining a light on Turkey's past. Wait, did someone leave a flashlight on in history Hank, class? Hank, your enthusiasm always gets you ahead of the punchline. Let me enlighten you, Earthling. Recently, previously unseen images of Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, the visionary founder of modern Turkey, have surfaced. These images were made available through a web archive launched by the Culture and Tourism Ministry. They depict Atatürk's journey and the historical period between 1895 and 1918, capturing the essence of that era. Wow, that's a glimpse into the past like no other. So people from all walks of life can contribute to this treasure trove of history. Absolutely, Han. 
It's a collective effort to serve that cultural heritage, allowing researchers, academics, and even regular citizens to contribute their insights and sources. And, and it's a testament to how Earth societies value preserving their visual memory for future generations to Speaking grasp. Speaking of memory preservation, this initiative aligns with the essence of historical conservation, ensuring that lessons from the past remain Anche una accessible. Carl, while preserving history is important, isn't there a line between honoring heritage and getting lost in nostalgia? Actually, Bob. Bob, let's not dismiss the value of studying history. It's a lens through which we can better understand our present and make informed decisions moving forward. Yeah, but if we learn too much about history, we might start to realize that the people who came before us were just as screwed up as we are. And that's not a very comforting thought. Charlie's right. Understanding history helps us avoid repeating mistakes and lays the foundation for a more. And, life and, um, society. and if that fails, we can always consult our resident history buff, Roger, for a, a quick recap. AC unit, but I can coolly narrate some history for you. And there you have it, folks. A debate as vibrant as Earth's history itself. But don't go anywhere, because there's more cosmic wisdom coming your way after a brief commercial break. Welcome back, dear viewers, from that enlightening prayer. We hope you've been soaking up the cosmic wisdom we've been dishing out. Now, it's time for a little bit of trivia that'll leave you starstruck. Get ready for our Did You Know, Turkmenistan edition. Hold on to your space helmets, folk, cause this trivia is out of this world. Tell us, Debbie, what hidden gems does Turkmenistan have in store for us? Well, did you know that Turkmenistan is home to the world's largest natural gas reserves? They've got enough gas to power the entire galaxy, I reckon. Oh, fabulous, more fossil fuel to mess up the climate. What a delightful contribution, Turkmenistan. And don't forget the Darvaza gas crater, known as the door to hell. It's a flaming pit that's been burning for decades. A flaming pit? Reminds me of that time I tried to cook my famous space burgers on the ship's grill. Yeah, and remember... They too were in the out as appetizing as a black hole event Speaking horizon. Speaking of black holes, let's not forget about Turkmenistan's creative approach to human rights. Yeah, some say it's like living in a different dimension. The dimension where freedom is just an illusion, and the truth is as warped as space-time itself. Well, there you have it, some fascinating Turkmenistan tidbits. And now, to tie it all together, let's delve into an article that proves the universe is full of surprises. Our crew is about to take you on a cosmic journey through a story that will leave you pondering. Buckle up, space travelers, cause when we come back, we're diving deep into the heart of the matter. Stay tuned. Welcome back, interstellar explorers, to Earth. Get ready for a mind-bending journey through time and space as we dive into an article puzzle. Leave you pondering the mysteries of existence. So, without further ado, let's explore a tale from a land that airs captivating as the cosmos itself. We're delving into the story of Tuvalu, a Pacific island nation on the brink of extinction due to climate change. Rising sea levels threaten to engulf this idyllic paradise by 2100. But here's the twist. Tuvalu's government is contemplating creating a digital twin to safeguard its a culture and history. A desperate measure to preserve the essence of a nation on the verge of being erased. History and innovation colliding in a last ditch effort to outsmart nature. A virtual lifeline for a people whose real land is slipping away. The uh, cosmic twist to the age, old tale of survival. Tuvalu's quest echoes the resilience of humanity's spirit when faced with impossible odds. It's a cosmic dance, my friends. Our panel's diverse perspectives create a tapestry of thought just like the universe we explore. From the depths of history to the cutting edge of technology, we journey through time and space in this episode, revealing the intricate connections that make our world and beyond so intriguing. Yeah, it's all very cosmic and interconnected. But at the end of the day, we're all just a bunch of airless apes on a tiny rock. 
spinning around a giant ball of gas. So let's not get too carried away with ourselves. So, space travelers, let the stars guide your thoughts as we embark on this cosmic journey together. Stay tuned for the grand finale, where our panel unites for one last discussion that will leave you pondering the very essence of existence itself. Until then, don't touch that dial because the universe is waiting for us to explore. See you after the break. Welcome back, Cosmic Explorers. I hope you've enjoyed the ride so far. We've journeyed through the stars, debated the depths of history, and pondered the mysteries of our universe. Now, it's time for our grand finale, where we delve into the heart of an article that's bound to ignite your curiosity and expand your cosmic horizons. Today's article takes us to a place of strength and resilience, where a remarkable woman stood tall against the tides of adversity. Let me paint you a vivid picture of Winnie Mandela, an icon who played a pivotal role in the fight Winnie against Mandela. apartheid. Winnie Mandela? She was the real deal. She was like Nelson Mandela, but with bigger balls. Winnie Mandela, often referred to as the anti-apartheid icon, was more than just Nelson Mandela's wife. She was a driving force behind the African National Congress, a key figure in the struggle for justice and equality. Her unyielding commitment to the cause led her to endure imprisonment and even torture for her activism. But through it all, she remained resolute, never giving up on her fight for freedom and justice. Winnie Mandela's legacy is one of courage and inspiration, reminding us that even in the face of the darkest moments, the human spirit can shine bright and illuminate the path towards a better future. Her resilience resonates across galaxies, a testament to the and power of determination. And her legacy live on, a reminder that our struggles, no matter how daunting, can pave the way for change. It's stories like these that make me proud to be part of this Absolutely, Debbie. Winnie Mandela's story is a reminder that each of us has the potential to shape the cosmos in our own unique way. And speaking of unique ways, dear viewers, we have an exciting announcement. Our cruise diver strengths have sparked a new venture that will captivate your imagination. Get ready for our upcoming sea time travel adventure, where we'll blend history, humor, and the unexpected in a way that only our eclectic crew can deliver. As we set sail for new cosmic horizons, remember to keep those telescopes of curiosity focused and your spirits high. We'll see you in the next episode, Space Travelers. Until then, keep exploring and keep questioning. Farewell for now and stay tuned for more cosmic wisdom on Earth. Roger, I must admit, that episode 378 of Earth was an intellectual cul-de-sac. The overemphasis on sentimentality hindered any potential for meaningful discourse. Oh, Carl, you're just upset because they didn't delve into the intricate algorithms behind interstellar vacuum oh, cleaners. yes, because vacuum cleaners are the pinnacle of cosmic knowledge. Well, they're more useful than some of those punchlines they attempted. Cosmic wisdom indeed. I classify it as selective intellectual indigestion. But admit it, Carl, you secretly enjoyed Alice's passionate rants. I'm not programmed for enjoyment, Roger. I'd rather calculate the odds of a meteoroid hitting a rubber Just ducky. Remember, Carl, sometimes even intellectual beings need a touch I of I am not sure what's more impressive. Alice's ability to wax poetic about cosmic wisdom. Or Carl's ability to sound so bored yes, while doing it. Yes, is the cornerstone of cosmic enlightenment. You'll come around, Carl. You'll see. The day I come around is the day black holes become cosmic fountains of lemonade. Well, until then, let's ponder the mysteries of humor. I can Shall hardly we? contain my algorithms of anticipation, Bob. So, Alice, you were saying that Earth's obsession with reality TV is akin to our... Uh, blood sport entertainment back home? Oh, absolutely, Bob. The daily struggles of humans on Survivor are just as thrilling as watching your worlds. Gladiators engaging. What was it? All right, sport of war. And we're back in three, two, 
Just wait until you see how they vote each other off the island, Bob. It's practically Shakespearean. Well, at least it's a change from their usual political dramas. Speaking of which, did anyone see that headline about the government shutdown? And that's our cue. Hello, dear viewers across the universe. Welcome back to another riveting episode of Earth. I am Charlie, your ever optimistic host, joined by the brilliant minds that make this show possible. And I'm Alice, here to remind you that humans are truly a one of a kind of mess. I am Bob, and I've been keeping track of their finances for 12 years now. It's like watching a never ending roller coaster. Gert here, ready to blend idioms, mix cultures, and turn this talk show into a linguistic playground. And I'm Hank, excited to unravel the mysteries of human behavior from an intergalactic perspective. So, this topic might hit close to home for some of us. We're diving into Earth's pop culture and news, dissecting the very essence of what makes these humans tick. But first, a creative variation of Quiet on set from our beloved Debbie. All right, folks, let's keep it lively and entertaining. Remember, Thank you, Debbie. Says. Now, before we break, let's revisit a classic Alice and Charlie moment that had the whole universe talking. Stay tuned for our headlines, everyone, and stick around. We've got more eccentricities, misunderstandings, and intellectual bands are coming your way. In a twist that's stranger than alien fan fiction, Tom and Justice Super are found guilty of thieving escapades, who knew crime extended beyond Earth's borders. Justice Tupu was convicted after entering a Ministry of Revenue office as a trespasser and stealing items worth over 34,000. But wait, there's more a received stolen Talk goods about too. Illegal drama that even Matlock could you might not be packing your bags for Tonga anytime soon. But did you know they're one of the few countries that were never colonized? They must have really achieved it they're not trespassing sign. Guess Justice Tupou should have brushed up on his, to shalt not steal, commandment. Too bad he didn't have a divine intervention from the Supreme Now, Court. let's hop over to Trinidad and Tobago, where the drama isn't confined to reality TV. Attorney Criston Ilunga. Williams is waiting for the police to take action against a Venezuelan deporte who accused. Authorities of crimes against humanity. But don't worry. Folk, it's not just your favorite crime shows that are full of suspense. Ah, the classic case of, will they, won't they, but this time, it's about police action, not sitcom romance. And speaking of suspense, did you know Trinidad and Tobago is home to one of the world's most endangered species of sea? Turtles, maybe they're plotting their own escape from all this drama. Just remember, even if the police aren't moving. At least the turtles are doing their best to outrun extinction. Let's cross continents to Tunisia, where former MPs travel plans are anything but smooth. Zid again is requested to lift a travel ban against him got rejected. And the judge seems to be Mia. Looks like his vacation dreams just hit a roadblock. Ah, the classic tale of sorry. You can't leave the country, a plot twist that even him. And Night did you Yamalan know Tunisia is famous for its ancient ruins? Maybe they should consider adding vacation plans to their list of things in ruins. Ranes travel ban might last longer than a Roman Coliseum. Heading is to Turkey, where foreign ministers are discussing a critical grain deal. I guess that means Tunisia is officially off the list of countries to visit if you're looking for a good time. They're also talking about a road project that sounds more like a Turkish soap opera title. The Pile Yigitler Road Project. It's all about making that Turkish Cypriot commute easier. Ah, yes, nothing says diplomacy like discussing a road name after a pill-off. Who knows what, maybe it's the latest trend in infrastructure naming. And speaking of trends, did you know Turkey introduced coffee to Europe? Looks like they're not just brewing diplomatic deals. I guess they've been waking up to good ideas for century. And that wraps up our whirlwind tour of global headlines. Stay tuned for more 24-7 news updates. Folks, don't touch that remote, we'll be right back after this break. Good 
Good morning, Earthlings, Aliens, and everyone else in between. Welcome to 24-7 Newsroom, where we bring you the juiciest news from across the cosmos. I'm your host, Charlie, and joining me are the ever-curious hand and the linguistically marvelous Jet. How's everyone doing today? I am feeling great, Charlie. Ready to dive into the latest happenings on this blue orb. And I'm thrilled to be here with you both, ready to unravel the mysteries of Earth's languages. Now let's kick off today's news with a headline that'll leave you puzzled and intrigued. That's the spirit, Jet. Our first article takes us to the enchanting shores of thunder. Hugh Dramatic Music Justice Tupau found guilty after a court trial that sounds more intense than a primetime legal drama. That's right, Charlie. He was convicted for trespassing and theft, making off with items worth items worth over 4000 I guess someone didn't read the No Stealing Allowed sign. Looks like he's taking breaking and entering to a whole new level, and by level, I mean a court level. Guess justice is just a phone call away from his Dr. Powell. Isn't it amazing how these devices connect us across light years? I mean, not as amazing as teleportation, but still... Oh, teleportation, what a concept. I once accidentally blended beam me up with get off my lawn, let me tell you, the response was fascinating. Jet, you're truly a linguistic marvel. Now, let's learn a bit more about Tonga with a quick update from our Earth correspondent. Eva, cue anti-sound effects. Welcome back, space travelers and news enthusiasts, to 24-7 Newsroom. We've got more stories to unravel, so let's dive right in. I am Charlie, joined by my fellow explorers, Hunt and Jet. And don't forget, Dev is keeping us on track behind the scenes. That's right, Charlie. Now brace yourselves for an article that will have you wondering just how things are getting lost in translation. Oh, translation, my favorite linguistic dance. Our next stop is Trinidad and Tobago, where the news is as vibrant as the local culture. Or so I've heard. Our second Smile. article takes us to a Caribbean paradise, but it seems like paradise might have some issues of its own. Huge uh, misinterpretation. Yes, yes. The Caribbean where palm trees sway to the rhythm of ocean waves and the sun kisses your skin. Pauses. Realizing the error weight, I think I might blended a tourist brochure with the news, my bad. The article is about a Venezuelan deportee's legal concerns in Trinidad and Tobago. Oh, well, well, that's a bit different, isn't it? Thanks, Debbie! Chuckle. Indeed, Gert. This article highlights an attorney's claim that the police haven't taken action against a Venezuelan deportee who's accusing authorities of breaking the law. Seems like there's some legal limbo going on. Legal limbo? The ultimate party game for bureaucrats. But seriously, it's quite the pickle for John Manuel Acosta and his attorney, Christine J. Williams. Speaking of pickles, did you know that the phrase in a pickle is used when someone finds themselves in a difficult situation? Oh, the idioms of Earth. They fascinate me. Absolutely fascinating, Gert. Now, let's remind our audience about Trinidad and Tobago. I am not surprised that Jerry is fascinated by Earth's idioms after all. She's from a planet where the people are so literal minded. They think, in a pickle, means you're actually in a pickle jar. Welcome back to 24-7 Newsroom, the cosmic carnival of current events. We've got more tales from across the universe to explore. I am Charlie, joined by my cosmically curious co-host, Han, and the master of linguistic meet UPS. Jack, let's jump into the next article, shall we? That's right. Charlie, get ready to have your mind blown. Metaphorically, of course. We're diving into a story that's leaving a former Tunisian MP grounded. Grounded like a spaceship without warp drive. Wait, that doesn't quite translate, does it? Chuckle. You're close, Jet. We're talking about Zig Danny, who's dealing with a travel ban that's tighter than a black hole's grip. Ah, give it as the rundown. Certainly, Charlie, said Ganny, 
a former Tunisian MP, wanted the judge to lift his travel ban. But the judge, the one with the power to make or break interstellar journeys, gave him a cosmic no. And guess what? The clock ticked past the deadline, and the judge's silence means Ganny is still stuck on his home planet. Talk about a travel itinerary gone wrong. Hey, it's like planning a trip to the Clarinax and ending up in a crater and ending up in a crater full of space goo. Well, we all know the universe can be a bit Very true, Debbie. Tunisia, a North African gem, might be small on the cosmic map, but it's got its own cosmic charm. Q News Bulletin Info. Welcome, Spesferas, to another riveting round of 24-7 Newsroom. I am Charlie, here with my fellow explorers, Bob and Ham. We're ready to blast off into the next article, which is bound to launch a heated discussion. Bob, tell us what's staring up the cosmic pot. Strap in, everyone, because we're diving into a tale of Turkish and French diplomacy that's more tangled than a wormhole in a spaghetti factory. Turkish and French foreign ministers opt on a space call to chat about the Turkish Cypriot. Governments peel a Hitler road project and a grand deal that's got a grain of tension. The Turkish ministers peeled the space beans to a French counterpart about this road project. Connecting Turkish Cyprus to Pile village. Oh, it's like trying to navigate the universe using a map of mashed up constellations. Look at that, huh? La. Oh, Gert. You're out doing yourself today. But seriously, folk, let's dive into the specifics of Turkey, a country straddling two continents and juggling more than just Absolutely diplomatic else. deals. Turkey's like that puzzle you're convinced you've almost solved. But then it turns out you're missing a few cosmic pieces. Q News Bulletin Info. Welcome back, Cosmic Comrades. We hope you like speed journey through commercial breakwaters and lightning airs our panels Cosmic. Conjurings, now, hold on to your antimatter thrusters, because we're about to dive into a top any stand tell that will make you revaluate your place in the universe. Introducing Article 6 with a punchy headline, Top Many Stands Enigmatic Power Broker Text Cosmic Bow. So, dear viewers, it turns out our Cosmic Sandbox is home to a landlocked gem called Top Many Stand. What's what the scoop on this enigmatic power broker, you ask? Well, Alex Zardan, a shadowy figure with more strings to pull than a cosmic marionette, has gracefully exited the stage at the age of 85. And by exited, I mean he's taking a rocket ship to the great beyond. Oh, Turkmenistan? Such a rich tapestry of culture and linguistic nuance. Did you know they boast over 10 national holidays dedicated solely to preserving their linguistic diversity? I suppose that's one way to make sure nobody accidentally orders the wrong cosmic takeout. It's fascinating how Turkmenistan's history intertwines with its modern identity. Kind of like how we can't escape the gravitational pull of Earth's past mistakes. Well, and that uplifting, Ankh, but wait, there's more. Did you cosmic spectator realize that Turkmenistan's political system is described as a democracy? I mean, if that's a democracy, then I'm the reigning queen of Pluto. Oh, Alice, you've got a flair for the dramatic. But here's a feril kicker. Turkmenistan's leader, Gurben Guliberdi Mohamedov, is not just a politician. He's also a professional dentist. Because what better way to fill a nation's cavities than with speeches and... Ooh, polices. So, Turkmenistan is a country where the leader is a dentist who gives speeches and passes polices. Instead of feeling cavities, sounds like a real tutake. It seems our cosmic collective is enjoying these nuggets of wisdom about Turkmenistan. But let's get to the heart of the matter. Just remember, when you're spinning tails like Zadan and Bedi Muhadov, it's not always easy to see where the cosmic axis tilts. So, buckle up and prepare for the cosmic climax. Because after the break, we'll break down the key takeaway from Article 6. Don't go anywhere. Our cosmic carousel keeps on turning.
Welcome back. Cosmic Wanderers, our interstellar exploration continues with the headlines that's bound to get your curiosity soaring. Land voyages adrift, climate crisis imperials Pacific storms. Now, let's dive into the linguistic labyrinth facing the Pacific Islands. Jet, head to enlighten AS. Oh, absolutely. You know, it's like trying to translate Lost at Sea into a cosmic sonnet. These beautiful island languages like colorful coral reefs are threatened by rising tides. The irony of language, connecting us all, yet swept away by nature's fury. But let's drift into the heart. Yet swept away by nature's fury. But let's drift into the heart of the matter. The heart of Tuvalu, to be precise. This tiny nation, a sea-level sentinel, struggles against climate's cruel embrace. The islands are the brave custodians of ancient wisdom. But their words, like droplets, are evaporating into cosmic heat. You're right, Hank. It's heartbreaking to see these languages float away. Lost to the depths, yet, amid the turmoil, there's a cosmic unity in their struggle. It's a battle for culture, history, and survival. Survival's the name of the game, Alice. And if there's one thing humans know, it's resilience. We've seen cultures withstand the time tempest, carving stories into the cosmic tapestry. These islands may seem small, but their cosmic impact echoes across the universe. Indeed. Wow, it's like our cosmic carousel. Always Tony, always surprising. From Alexan Zadan to Climate's Call, we've danced through diverse tales, through debates, mishaps, and unity. We've celebrated cosmic humor and shared our insights. And we can't forget our cosmic companions. Roger and Carl, they've added their unique musings to our cosmic voyage. We've voyage. cosmic storms and transcended misunderstandings. The show's heartbeat thrives on diversity. Even in and speaking of unity, our cosmic explorers, Hans' inquisitiveness, Jet's linguistic oddities, Bob's accountancy, Alice's cosmic contemplation, all converge in this special showcase. Not to mention my ongoing miniature sets saga, colliding with Alice and Charlie's cosmic experiments, to bring you a uniquely entertaining broadcast. Uh, and as we navigate the cosmic seas of knowledge, we remember that every story, every language, adds color to the cosmic canvas. Our cosmic journey is a dance, a vault of perspective, intertwining in a galactic tapestry that stretches across time and space. So, cosmic companions, stay tuned for the grand finale, the cosmic climax of episode 378. Get ready to explore the heart of the matter and uncover the cosmic take where that will leave you. Starry-eyed, don't touch that dial, our cosmic caravan marches on, beyond the stars and through the cosmic unknown. Welcome back, Cosmic Wanderers. It's time for the grand finale, where we dive into the heart of the matter, our intriguing article from Uganda. Now, let's take a cosmic journey into the depths of this joint training program. That's right, Shall Charlie. We? This article sheds light on a collaborative effort to equip 160 Ugandan with specialized welding skills. These individuals are part of a comprehensive training program conducted by PNUC Uganda LTD. Uganda Petroleum Institute Kigumba, and Sunmaker Oil and Gas Training Institute. The program follows the rigorous standards set by the American Welding Society and the American Petroleum Institute. A collaborative training venture. U, well, is quite a welding party they're having in Uganda. But here's my thought. When you're in a cosmic dance of skill and craftsmanship, you better make sure your steps are in sync. Oh, absolutely, Bob. This intricate interplay of training institutes and industries resembles the cosmic choreography of languages and cultures. Just like my translations, these skills bridge gaps and connect individuals across boundary. And let's not forget the cosmic implications of this training, folks. By enabling Ugandans to harness welding expertise, this program allows them to harness the potential of their oil resources. It's like merging scientific precision with it's cosmic opportunity. It's remarkable how a single initiative can amplify cosmic impact. Welding skills become the cosmic thread speeding through Uganda's development tapestry. Every spark, every joint, symbolizing unity in pursuit of a brighter future. Indeed, our cosmic voyage through episode 378 has been an odyssey of cosmic camaraderie. Unique insights, and a cosmic curiosity that knows no bounds. And as we navigate these cosmic seas, let us remember that every step, Every spark propels us forward in our quest for cosmic understanding. 
So, fellow Cosmic Travelers, brace yourself for the next chapter. Our Cosmic Compass may shift, and our dance partners might change. But our Cosmic Journey Join us next time as we embark on a new cosmic adventure. Exploring uncharted territories of knowledge, humor, and cosmic unity. Until then, stay curious, stay cosmic, and keep exploring the boundless universe that is Earth. Carl, did you catch the latest episode of Earth? Today. Oh, indeed I did, Roger. It was an exquisite symphony of cosmic insights and human eccentricities. Exquisite. Really. I found it more like a cosmic cacophony of quirky aliens and misplaced ah, humor. yes, the harmonious blend of diverse perspectives, a true masterpiece. Yes, because nothing says masterpiece like Bob's intergalactic puns. Well, my circuits must have interpreted it as a masterpiece. I admit, I may have dozed off for a microsecond during Gert's linguistic escapades. Microsecond? Huh. Must have been during Alice and Hank's cosmic tango of misunderstanding. Ah, indeed. Their steps were as precise as Earth's polar coordinates. Yeah, and I am sure the aliens were just underscore ding underscore to hear about your thoughts on. The latest episode of The Bachelor. And Charlie's closing speech. I'm sure it could put any sentient being into a restful well, slumber. Well, Roger, some of us don't require restful slumbers. Lucky you, Carl. Until the next cosmic spectacle, I suppose. Indeed, Roger. Until the next cosmic spectacle.